love camping, but it's not everyone's idea of a perfect holiday. With the right equipment, you don't have to rough it. And camper vans like these mean you can take everything with you, even the kitchen sink. Well, before the camper van, we had the old school caravan. So this particular caravan, bit of a love shack. You could call it that. This caravan was made in the late 1930s by a man called Richard Reichenbach, and he made it initially for his honeymoon. But the family grew to include four children, and it was used for family holidays for over 20 years. In the end, even the cat went along. But originally for the honeymoon, and I guess a great way of getting privacy. Exactly. If you wanted to have some privacy, and especially during those early moments of your marriage, a caravan was ideal. And was it popular or common for people to build their own caravans? I think the majority of caravans were DIY efforts. Richard used Air Force canvas that he's painted. He's used kauri, Oregon pine and steel. During the 1930s, caravan ownership became popular. A few local firms sold them, but many Kiwis designed their own. They build them using instructions from magazines like Popular Mechanics, and you could buy caravan components from tent maker Leroy in Auckland. When we actually look inside, it would have been a tight squeeze with all six of them and the cat. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to swing that cat, <laughs> is there? There's not. <laughs> it's quite efficiently organised though. We've got a bed here and there was a bunk above it as well. There's a little cooking, gas cooking stove to the left and tucked in the corner here we've got a refrigerator kind of disguised with a wooden facade here and at the other end... There's a nice double bed. Yeah, but there's a bunk over the one end of it. It would have been very cosy. <laughs> So not a lot of room to play board games on a rainy day? No, I think uh, there would have been a few frayed tempers in there, maybe a few people sent out to the awning. I mean, the craftsmanship, it, it's very, very well made, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed by the effort that Richard put into the, the caravan. It was obviously built to last. While today's camper vans are popular with overseas visitors, the caravan was very much a local icon. In the 1940s and 50s, they epitomised the Kiwi summer holiday. A caravan like this was a bit like having a batch on wheels. But I wonder where they put the barbecue. 